How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today we're going to be doing a pros and cons, worth it or waste, on the new Amazon Fire Stick, uh, Fire TV Stick. Now this is a spinoff from Amazon's uh, previous uh, product, which is the Fire TV. It's very similar, except it's about half the price, a little more than half the price, um, and it really does contain almost all the same features and we're gonna go over some of those today and we're gonna see is this thing really worth the buy or is it a waste so we'll start with the pros and the first pro is that this device is basically like a Chromecast but it has a remote that comes with it so Chromecast $35 it's Google's version of this same product it allows you to get Netflix and Hulu and different apps like that but the problem is you're you have to have a smartphone or a tablet to be the remote for that device. And it's still a little tricky in terms of how you're supposed to use it. And if, you, if you're if you not too tech savvy, you may have a hard time with it. Um, but with the Fire Stick, they've kind of fixed the big problem that I believe Google had, which is they just give you a remote with it. Now, um, this remote is gonna allow for basic navigation. It has a directional pad on it. It has a home button, it has play, and it has uh, the different fast forward and rewind and it has a menu button so it's laid out very simple it doesn't have too much you're not overloaded with buttons you have exactly what you need now um, what you don't have and so what I'll kind of do is I'll go pro and con based on what feature I'm talking about now one thing that that does separate the fire TV stick from the uh, fire TV is that the fire TV does have built-in voice search on the remote so you can hold a button at the top of the remote on the the one the higher end model and you can you can say the name of the show you want or the app and it'll search it for you automatically on this you cannot do it with the remote that it comes with however you can and purchase that remote separately if you do want to take advantage of that feature another cool thing is you actually do have an app that that you can download and so the app is called pulling it up right now and I just lost it so I gotta find it so bear with me you're gonna to go to your app store and you're gonna type in fire stick okay and um, the, the actual title was Amazon Fire TV Remote App. And the cool thing is with this app, you're gonna be able to do the voice search right from the app. So um, because of how we have the video set up, we, I can't actually show you the app, but you can download it, it is a free app. But um, once you sign in, you're gonna to connect to Wi-Fi so that uh, your, your phone will be on the same Wi-Fi network as your Fire Stick. Um, and I can actually do a voice search right from the app. I'm going to do it right now. So watch this or listen. Friends. There it is. And so on the app as well, there is a um, kind of like a mouse pad, like a trackpad you would find on a laptop. So I can just literally swipe left and right and I can just use... Um, use my phone as the remote so you basically get the best of both worlds you have a remote that comes in the box for the novice and for the beginner and you also have the option to download their app as well if you just want to use your phone so I, I think they really did do a great job by giving you options and saying hey let's just let people do both and they can choose which one they want to do better now guess what um, again another great benefit of the fire stick or the Fire TV stick is that it does come with tons of apps. Just to give an example, um, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Instant Video, you've got Watch ESPN, Crackle, HBO Go is coming soon. Uh, it does have Showtime Anywhere, Pandora, PBS Kids, Bloomberg TV, and one of my favorite apps, which is Spotify. So I can actually do a search for apps as well and it'll just pop right up and then you download it. Let's see if it has this other great TuneIn. TuneIn is a really awesome app and it looks like they do not have it. So I probably have to put that in the con category. TuneIn is an app that basically allows you to get radio stations right from your phone or in this case it would be from the Fire Stick. So it looks like that app is not available but um, Nevertheless, there is a, a, a big selection of other apps. Another cool thing about using the your phone as the remote is that I can actually type 
right from my phone to do a voice to do a search so not a voice search but just a regular text search so you know obviously before you have to like swipe around and you got to hit this button a b you know kind of you're using the remote to navigate now you can just type right from your screen and it definitely does make things easier so let's see let's go down this list here all right so a couple other cool things with the fire stick price point $39 it literally is $5 more than the Chromecast so for $5 more you are getting a remote control and uh, again this really streamlines this product so anyone can buy it and set it up and use it now when you buy it you are going to get uh, a free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime which is awesome you get free two-day shipping you also get access to um, over 200,000 um, TV episodes, movies, songs, games, you got access to a ton of stuff. Um, there also is an extra controller. There's a gaming controller. You can actually download games. You can game through this. Now, I, I would say that's another one of the, uh, not cons, but it's not one of the highlighting features. This device really is for streaming media. So more so streaming the music or streaming the videos. If you're looking for the gaming feature, you would want to get the um, the um, Fire TV, which is the one that's a little bit higher in price. It does advertise on the website that you can do games, but I believe the processor on this one isn't as fast as the premium model of the Fire TV. Um, it does come with one gigabyte of internal storage. It does have also a dual core processor, whereas again, the higher end model is a quad core processor. So again, built more so for gaming. Um, now Chromecast doesn't really have any storage. Uh, I believe it's got like a 512. So this does have double the memory that that does have. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and we're really kind of winding down here um, to kind of compare it to its other competitor, which is the Roku stick. Uh, Roku, that stick is $49.99. So you are paying $10 more. And in my experience, I was able to set up a Roku recently and it was rather confusing to set up. Um, there's some special things you have to do from your computer to download certain apps. And it, it really wasn't as user friendly as I would have expected it to be. Whereas when you do set up the Fire Stick, there's a video that literally walks you through all the basic things you would need to know to use it. So that was another thing that I was impressed by with the Fire Stick and I wasn't so impressed by with the Roku Stick and we'll have their review coming up uh, really soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but that is about it. So. If you listen to this whole review, then you probably know which side I stand on, which is that this is definitely a worth it product. For $39, you cannot beat what you get with this. Um, you can literally take this with you. It doesn't matter if your friend doesn't have Netflix. All they need to have is Wi-Fi. You can plug in the Fire Stick. You can start watching immediately. You know, all your accounts are going to be synced. I literally take this device and I unplug it and I literally just go from room to room as I'm as I'm walking on my day off and guess what it's my Netflix is always synced my Hulu is always synced my Amazon stuff is synced already and I can just plug it in and I can just continue watching my show and if you guys are really slick you probably will just buy multiple ones and have them all set up in various rooms of your house but um, really cool product um, in my experience it, it, it there hasn't been much lag I have heard some people kind of experience some choppiness with um, streaming and that problem may have to do with your internet provider I had a, uh, a lady who had AT&T and she just didn't have a fast internet connection so because of that she did experience some buffering so uh, make sure you have a nice fast internet connection and you shouldn't have any problems with that but that's it guys hope you found this helpful make sure you like favorite and share the video if you did find it helpful subscribe to H2 Tech videos and have a good one